I feel very honored that you guys have watched my channel for so many years now, and um, it continues to grow and keep doing well, even though I'm a rookie. Uh, drone flyer and it's kind of windy so I had to keep it low and I was just picking it up carrying it back but what's up all my friends out there it is Palm Sunday and I just got home from church a few minutes ago we had church I had Easter egg hunt check out my rye grass it's looking good um, but anyway I have not done a lawn care setup video this year so I want to get into it um, my stuff is not all clean and totally ready um, but I want to see y'all's lawn care set up too, even if it's not clean and totally ready. So, I got a 2009 Ram 1500. Um, this is my kid's craft from church. I keep the peanut butter with me if you want a spoon of that for a snack while you're at working. Some water bottles, got my towel, got my sunglasses, my tablet, um, some other headphones, stuff under there. This is not clean, it's just literally how it was. Um, and, uh, I got two of these big bags from Lowe's. They you used to could buy them at Lowe's. They're just like big construction hauler bags. You can still find them on Amazon and stuff. Lowe's doesn't sell them anymore, but I say just, you know, type in construction debris bag. You can get these, and I I put huge piles of sticks and cut them up small so they'll fit in these. They're because they're like probably like four foot by three foot. They're big bags, you know? Um, I got my Milwaukee Quick Lock system in here and my uh, articulating hedge trimmer. Um, I got my toolbox over there. I got some retractable straps that I just picked up on Amazon there in, the, in my last video or maybe video before that. Um, this is one of my Gylet, uh aftermarket batteries. I got 10 batteries. Um, a couple of them are these aftermarket ones and I've had pretty good luck with these. Um, I just bought them on eBay. Now, they don't, they don't tell you that they're Gylet brand when you're buying them, they just say unbranded, so it's kind of hit or miss of which brand of aftermarket battery you get on eBay. But all the ones I've had have worked great. So, yeah. So, like I said, you might just buy them from a couple different sellers on there and see what see what comes of it. You know, we're on the 80 Gator line. It's almost up, and I'm gonna run a different line, which I'll show you in there. I got some jumper cables, um, and I got that toolbox over there with all the necessary stuff you need. Uh, my Milwaukee handheld blower. Um, my Milwaukee dedicated string trimmer. Maybe these are basically discontinued now. I bought it many years ago. It's part number 2725-20. So you can still find them on eBay and stuff, but I've had this since 2017. It's a great unit. We got the brushless one-handed uh, Sawzall. Awesome. Got my shovel pitchfork in there. Um, I got this, uh, I bought it over the winter. It's Cobalt backpack blower you can put two of these batteries in here i have six batteries for it and um this is pretty neat as well i got it on sale there on clearance they're kind of like blowing them out online and stuff and i wanted a battery backpack anyway and so this has been great um so that's that i got my snapper pro i believe i bought this i know i had it in 20 i bought it in april 2018 so man i've used this thing like four oh, what is that four seasons now or whatever this thing has been on an awesome mower. You know, I've had little things, issues here and there, just like any mower. I put a suspension seat on it. This is my Toro 30-inch. Um, I've had this for three years, too. The cover's in there. I just have the cover off for now. I might try it without the cover, so I keep an eye on it. i got many videos of many, many, many things I've fixed on this over the years and on the commercial ones, too. Used to have some of those. Um, this is my 5x10 aluminum trailer. It's cool. It's got these LED strip lights i don't know if you can see them because the way the sun is almost like they have on enclosed trailers but they got them like sideways down there it's pretty cool i even have a little bit of grass and weeds growing out of there <laughs> but um and i got some cool aluminum wheels that i bought on ebay and then had a uh, tire shop put tires on it put those on there so that way i got aluminum wheels on here too i bought this trailer just because i thought in 29 or 2020 i was worried that the gas was going to go up so i bought it you know just for running around as a solo setup and wow, boy was I right, you know? <laughs> uh, thing, this is a great trailer. You can just pull it with your hands and hook it up. <clears throat> you can put your push mower right here. You can put stacks of limbs right here. You know, whatever you need. Um, you can put different mowers here. I got some, uh, you know, big tie downs through the floor. I just put this on here just to show you like, you know, video purposes, really. Um, my equipment defender blower rack goes right here. I already have the holes pre-drilled and I'll show you that in a minute. 
my liberty z36 i actually cleaned this last weekend and have not used it this week so this is the only mower i have that's actually clean right at this minute but like i said don't worry about everything being clean because i want to see your lawn care setup video too even though everything's dirty and it's kind of messy i'm like you know what right now after church boom i'm gonna film it i'm gonna get it done it's april it's time to do this so i'm gonna pull it out and uh just show how things are you know this is real life this is cool cool stuff and i enjoy hanging out with y'all all, all y'all that watch my channel um this is my skag patriot i only have 10 hours on it now I need to do that first oil change it's got the 61 um i use it at my church big property here you know a few different places i use it but it's not it's not my main more my business or anything um but i love it it's great it's really fast it's got a strong engine on it. i love the Kohler engine on it it's a 25 horsepower command pro i think um it, like i said it's only got 10 hours on it. that one has almost a thousand hours on it um this is my wife's chevy tahoe 2007 also doubles as my backup truck here's my um 14 foot trailer got my wheelbarrow here you know you can haul uh loads of brush stack i stack up pine straw you know piles of mulch wherever you need um i also have a jungle gym rack on here it, which has been awesome by the way i've had this on here for years it's a great simple rack i like it um but again since i run battery trimmers i don't need a trimmer rack all the time because it doesn't matter if it like tips over or anything in the truck oh so this is a mower i just got a couple months ago john deere wh 48a sorry there's pollen all on it and stuff been running it but uh it's a hydro walk behind great unit i got many videos talking and sharing thoughts about this mower and stuff so y'all check into that if you want to know about it on um, this is my accelerator 6.2 it's got the dust covers on it uh the bracket i have for this goes to the snapper pro i have it fitted for the snapper pro i've not tried to make the bracket fit on any of these mowers but i could with some modification um you know i only use this here or there for customer you know if a high-end customer got to have it bag or something but it is a great unit it's uh you know it's, it's lightweight um i mean it's heavy once you fill it with grass but it's a it's a good unit. i've had that for years and years um great great thing so accelerator industries they're like the original one that made the aluminum baggers it's excellent quality great customer service great people um you know all that talk to them at the expo and all this stuff um here's my echo 8010 um you see i'm actually replacing the screws on this i'll have another video about this you see how the screws are like the threads are gone right here and so this is getting sloppy and one of them actually fell out so i'll have another video talking about that but this is my 8010 i've had this since 2019 this thing is a unhinged beast right here this thing's a monster um i don't love it for uh, summer grass clippings you know and things like that but for winter time or for fall and winter it's awesome and i love that the 8010 has the carbon fiber housing and stuff the the 9010 now has a different one it's not carbon fiber anymore it's a little bit heavier and so that's why i feel like i should always should hang on to this because um you won't be able to get it again i got a lot of my friends up here um channels and stuff cleats i got some baseball cleats if you have like like when you're do installing pine straw on slope and stuff on yards that have like a steep slope bank or if you need to like pull weeds or anything that's what you need right there grips right on i got my echo pb 265 lens a baby backpack blower um it's an awesome little blower uh what else i got my red max 230 ts great trimmer again i mainly run battery products during the summer so this and this you know have limited use on them that's my drone hopefully i got y'all drone shot beginning of this video we'll see if it works out if i can remember how to even fly the thing and stuff i got gas cans i love the fuel works gas cans still years later i got when they first came out they're an excellent product um i mean i don't i still have, i have other cans you know as well um but i do like this like if i buy when i bought need to buy more gas cans this would be top of my list these are great they're great price and everything especially for the big mowers i think for two cycle equipment i think the no spill is still the best one i have a little two and a half i think the no spill like for in these blowers and stuff i think it's probably still the best one but um but for fueling the big mowers there is no no comparison to this uh the fuel work like you see five gallons in 60 seconds um it can unload it and it is true it works works great and they stack and all that stuff all right so this is my uh, equipment defender sorry i didn't really plan this i just had it stuck under here my equipment defender blower rack 
it goes on those two holes on the corner of that trailer and uh it's set up from an 8010 so like all during you know now we're getting into growing season so i took the rack off because i don't take the 8010 with me anymore i try not to just because it it beats me up too much too hard on my knees and all the stuff all my yards are on slope so i don't i only use that when i need to use it and so that rack's coming off because basically it'll hopefully it'll sit there until fall except for like if we get rain and stuff like that um you know this will have to come out but and storms and things but other than that you know i'll use this one and use my battery blowers and whatnot all right let's moving on moving on getting chatty here my steel ms250 my dad gave me this years ago i still have it i still love it still run it um probably about like once a month or something i gotta like cut down like a tree falls down customer's house a limb or something so i don't run chainsaws all the time like i said maybe once a month because the rest of it i can handle with that little walkie saws all so you know, I use it when I need it, but, you know, that's that. So as far as chainsaw, that's all I have right now. That's all I've ever had. Um, I got a big old case of two-cycle oils. I think it's uh, eight, no, it's 48 bottles in here, little bottles. I got a backup DeWalt sprayer like the one I have inside the truck out there. It's my tool rack, you know, rakes and stuff on there. My Milwaukee, uh, I don't know if that's called a rocket light, but it's some kind of light. I've had that for many years as well. You can stand up. Things super bright. Works great at night. These are holders for all my Milwaukee batteries. You know, I'm supposed to put them in here like on the weekends. <laughs> and, you know, I got my oils and such. Um, got a little air compressor. Got my shot vac. Got my uh, Mighty Vac for sucking the oil out of the mowers. That's a great, a great tool. I would highly recommend getting one of those. That's called a Mighty Vac. There are other brands that basically do the same thing. But um, I haven't even showed all this. I got a new extension for Milwaukee and a brand new uh, articulating head trimmer attachment. And so that way with those two, I can reach really high shrubs. And I got a new spool of Echo Black Diamond here. I got my little Ryobi electric pressure washer up there. I use here, there. Here's my ramps for the cars. Um, I keep all my spare parts like fuel filters and all kinds of parts for fuses, just all kinds of stuff for mowers in here, spare gloves, and just like some of that like parts bin is right there. Uh, this is full of bolts, like all different kinds of nuts and bolts. Great to have. I got a battery charger here. Um, like I said, these are my ramps for like changing oil in cars and stuff. You know, I got my vacuum gauge. Uh, this is a little smoke machine for working on finding vacuum leaks in cars and such. Um, got my drill, rigid drill, rigid impact. See this brush? I ordered those on online too. I got a bigger one as well, and that helps for getting that stubborn stuff off of the mower decks. Um, so that's what that's for, and it, it works great. I got my Milwaukee uh, 6 Bay charger here. You can put 6 on here. And then, you know, I have this bag sitting here usually every morning. Take all the batteries that are charged up, put them in here, take it to the truck. Kind of deal. Um, these are the two, I have two of these chargers for the Cobalt for that backpack blower. They do not have a rapid charger or a multi-charger for that 40 volt line. So I just have two of these and you have to swap them out. I may get a third one. That way, six batteries, I only have to swap them once and I get all six charged. So I need to get another one of those, but... Yeah, it works fine. Works great. Um, I have 10 batteries for Milwaukee. Several of the 12s. Um, see, I got three 12s right here. I think I have another one, too. And a bunch of these, like, aftermarket ones. I already told you all about that. How you can try to, you know, try different aftermarket ones. But these are 50 bucks, And they're actually really good. I've never had a problem with any of them. I've run these, like, two years. Um, you know, they're in rough shape and everything. They've been good. I got a new 8-amp hour Milwaukee one right there. This is very handy working on cars mowers and such just my uh m12 ratchet um oh yeah i got my rvg 712 blade grinder um this thing is awesome you know it keeps your perfect angle for your blade you lay it in there just, just like that and this like catches the uh you know the shavings got my jungle jack this thing's awesome best best mower jack on the market you only have one post you have to worry about so you don't even have two to get in the way this i think this is the original inventor of this there's, an, there's someone else that has a product similar to this, but this came out way before I had this thing six years ago, seven years ago. Um, they've been, they've had this for a long time. It's great. You can pull this down and give you extra leverage. So my Arctic cooler, I put a couple ice packs in there and keep all my batteries cool during the summer and you could throw like your sandwich in there or whatever. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I got my inverter generator and some jacks. Oh yeah, I got my original steel KM130. Um, that I got when I first started my business. My dad actually got that for me and I got all the attachments, edger, chain saw, you know, pole saw and, and different things. 
uh, string trimmer attachment, and I got some other jigsaws, sawzalls. River, say hi. Hi. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up. That's my lawn care setup. Uh, it's lightweight, it's solo, it's efficient. Um, you know, I've, I've had like eight different trailers in the past. I had tandem axle enclosed trailers, which I love them, but, um, but just the way things are and the, the ease of being able to get around town super easy with the small trailer, I really like it. So like I said, I've had big trailers. I've had two or three different enclosed trailers from the big tandem axle ones to this. I had a six by 12. I had a 16 foot open trailer with the cage on the front. You know, I've had, had, I've had all the variations of trailers basically. And I uh, love the setup I'm running right now. Um, love the lightweight setup. You can fly around town with that thing. Pile sticks on there, do your job, do what we gotta do. Um, and so it's great. So that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to think there's anything else I'm forgetting. River's trying to ask. hang on just a second, buddy. Let me finish this video and then I'll, and then we'll, uh, I'll talk with you. But anyway, that's, that's it. That's basically my setup. And I hope you guys are doing great. And I want to see your lawn care setup videos too. Be sure to uh, send me a link. I'll have my email down in the description. Or you can just post a comment. Say, hey, I got my lawn care setup video up on my channel down below. And then I'll try to check them out when I can. Because lawn care setup videos are awesome, right? Um, anyway, yeah, I, had, uh, I also had an equipment defender rack, trimmer rack in the past. I love it as well. I had a friend that got a brand new enclosed trailer. And I gave it to him uh, just because I really wanted to, I wanted to give it to him. So... I ended up giving that to him, but um, I have had that in the past. Um, I've had every steel blower, you know, that they make. I've had Husqvarna trimmers and steel trimmers and all kinds of stuff. But this is just what I have right now because I mainly just run the battery stuff. Um, I had a mentor of mine that if y'all recently, you know, last couple years, I had a BR600 that was kind of medium sized to go in between those as well. And um, I had a mentor and I've been telling for a couple years, like, hey, when it gets a couple years old and I think about selling it, I'm gonna, I want to give it to you. And, but I've been running battery equipment for the last couple of years, so I, it didn't even have a lot of hours on it, but I gave it to him. So I don't have the BR600 that I have, so maybe we need to replace it with something else. So maybe that's coming. Um, so this is my basic setup. I've got my sun hat, I've got some uh, rubber boots. I mean, you know, I got tarps, I got ladders in the back, and different things, but that's my setup. Um, these are all my mowers. This is my mower family. And uh, y'all are some of my lawn care mowing family out there, too. So, I appreciate you. Thanks for checking out my 2022 setup. It's going to be a great season. Looking, f I love this warm weather. So, River, say thanks for watching our video. Thanks for watching my video. You got to look at the camera when you say it. You got to look at the camera and say thanks for watching our video. Thanks for watching our video. All right. See you later. Give him a thumbs up. See you later.